Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav from Automation Step by Step and today we are going to learn something very interesting and that is how to handle drop downs or the select objects in Selenium. We are going to go very basic step by step and we will learn how to select an option from the drop down menu, how to store the drop down options in a list and then we can create a loop to go through the list and then we can do our actions on the options. We will also learn how to deselect an option from the drop down menu in Selenium. So this is going to be very interesting. Let us first learn how to select an option from the drop down. And for this, I will go to my project and this is the project we have been working on. And I will go to the test package, do a right click and say new and create a new class. I will call this as drop down demo or let me just call it as drop down and say finish and now in this class I will create a main method I will say main and control space bar for auto suggestion and this is the main method and before writing my code I will first get the code to start my browser and this is the three lines these are the three lines I need I am starting the chrome browser using web driver manager and I am also adding some implicit weight so we have learned all this in the earlier sessions so that's it I will save everything and you can see all this is fine I will select everything control A and control I for indentation and everything is fine so now the first thing is I will have to go to some demo website so let me say I have this practice website try testing this and here we have some options so you can see here we have some drop down we have a drop down we have a select object here as well so I can work with this so let me first go to this website I will say driver dot uh, get and give the URL of the web page so this will go to this website now step number one here is to use the select class I will have to import it from the selenium library but if you uh, do not want to do it explicitly when you start creating an object of the select class it will automatically uh, import it so let us go to step two i will first create a select object by referring to the select element so i will have to first find a locator of the select element so in this case the select element means the drop down or any select object that you are working with in this case this is also a select element this is also a select element let me go here this is a drop down when I do a right click and say inspect I can see here uh, we have name and we also have the ID ID is option so we directly have the ID property I will copy this and create a locator for this object I will say driver dot find element by dot id and i will give the id within quotes which is option here and give a semicolon at the end and i can store this into a variable of type web element i will say web element and i can name it anything i will say drop down equals this and I will also have to import the web element from the selenium library so that's it we have created a object or we have created a locator for the drop down and now we have to use the select class and create a select object using that particular drop down so I will say select and I can give it any name select object or select element equals new select and when I press control space bar I should be getting it from the selenium library where it takes the web element as the argument so here my web element I have named as drop down so I will send this as a argument to this class and now using the select object I can use all the select commands so that is step number three using the select object it will give me so many commands i can select by index select by value and select by visible text so let us try this i will say select object dot 
you can see I'm getting all these options select by index select by value select by visible text and if I want I can also deselect by all these options but for now I will show you deselect as well but for now let me say select by index so I can give the index so sometimes if you do not have the value or you do not have the text very clearly uh, visible or it is not um, you know it if it is hidden or dynamic then you can always select by the index position so I want to select by index one that is the first option I can do like this or I can also say select object dot select by value in this case I will get the value so you can see here we have the value so I can use this value text so let me say I want to select by value option 2 I will give it here within quotes I will say option 2 here and a semicolon at the end I can also say select by visible text so you can also select by whatever is visible on the screen the actual option that is visible on the screen so in this case I can select by this that is option 3 I can also just copy it from here so you can see option 3 is there I will copy this and put it here in my code and that's it so I can test all these options select by value select by index and select by visible text and after this I want to close my browser I will say driver dot quit in the earlier sessions we have learned about what is the difference between close and quit I am just quitting and at the very end I am just going to say I said SYSO and control spacebar for auto completing so let me do it again SYSO and control spacebar on my keyboard so it auto completes the system out statement and I will just say done so I will know that the code has reached here and before quitting I also want to wait for some time thread dot sleep now this I am just doing so that you can see the actions on the screen it is not uh, recommended to add any hard weights in your code I am waiting for two seconds or 2000 milliseconds and for this I will also have to either surround with try catch or add a throws declaration I'm just adding a throws declaration so that it does not give me any errors and that's it and I should actually also add some weights between these options as well so that you can see this clearly on the screen so I'm just adding one second wait between selecting these options and that's it I can now save and run my code I will do a right click run as Java application and let us now see so it goes to the application and now you can see it selected option 1 2 and 3 and that's it and then it closed the browser and on the console we are getting done so this is all working fine now we have seen this how to select an option in a very easy way sometimes you can also store all the options in a list and then you can create a dupe to go through the list so here also the first step is we have to import the select class from selenium library in our case it is now already done so we will move to the next step which is create a list of type web element for the drop down so let us say here I just want to uh, I will comment this part and I will say list of type web element so I will say web element within conical brackets and I can give it any name uh, I can say all available options equals now here I can say so I have already created the select object so I can say select object dot get options so I can say select object dot get options this is the function get options which returns a list of type web element so I will say this and then now just in case in this case you can see we had already created a select object and uh, we had uh, this created this variable for our drop down just in case you do not do this and you want to directly get the 
elements in the drop down you can also say you can directly say driver dot driver dot find and we have find element and we have find elements so i can also say find elements by dot and you can give the locator of your drop down in our case it is id is available and i can say options and again i can store this into a list so i can say list of type web elements and i can give any name like all options equals this now this will also work we can also use a list like this but for now let me comment this out and i will also have to import the list i am importing it from java.util so this will give me a list so this is the other option that i just showed you if you do not want to use the select class you can directly uh, find the locator of the drop down and say driver dot find elements and store in a list and once you have got the list you can create a loop so let me show you here i will say for and i will create a variable of type web element and i will name it option i will say for options in all available options until we have all available options i want to run the loop and inside the loop i am just printing out the text value of the option so i will say get text option dot get text so it will print the text value and then after uh, getting the text value or after getting that particular option you can do whatever action you want to do for example if you want to click on the option you can do that you can create a condition so let me just show you this first i will run this and check so it opens the browser and yes if i go in my console you can see it has printed all the options the text of all the options and as i said in real world after this you may want to create a condition so for example i can say if uh, option dot get text dot let us say equals ignore case and i want to check when it is equals to option 2 and in that case i just want to say let us say option dot uh, click and let me add a sleep time for one second just to check and i will run this again and this time let us see what happens so here you can see you can see it selected the option 2 and it was going through the loop and as soon as it found option 2 it has done the select action so this is how you can do in real time and uh, as i have showed you you can also use a list like this so for example if i am just finding all the elements in that drop down and creating a list of type web elements or uh, web element yeah this is fine so here i can also say all options and i should get the same result i will try to run this now so it opens the browser goes to the application and now it must be running the loop and then it should print all the options so you can see in on the console uh it did not print the options let me check again so here when i say list so we have done this okay i think the id is option here not options i will save and run again and check so that was a mistake i had given the wrong id for the drop down and this time let us go and check and yes it is printing out the text of all the options so this is how you can also create a loop like this now let us move to how to deselect an option from the drop down and as we have seen for the select object we also have the deselect 
uh, functions so as i said select by index i can also say deselect by index deselect by value or deselect by visible text so let us try that i will comment out this section and let me uncomment the earlier section so here we are doing select by index select by value and select by visible text and let us say uh, here after selecting this option 3 I will say deselect by visible text option 3 so let us check this I will save and run and check what happens so here you can see it selects option 3 and this is a single option drop down so we are not able to see the action so let us try this on uh, this particular select object here we should be able to see select and unselect action so if I do a right click here and say inspect so here this also has a ID which is OWC I will use this drop down or select object so let me say OWC here and save and now I will run and check and you can see it is selecting option 1, 2, 3 and then it deselected option 3 so this is how we can also do the deselect in a drop down or select object and this is how we can work with drop down and select objects in selenium I hope this was very useful for you I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.